Hey, my beautiful loves. Hi, how's it going? And welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. So my beautiful babies, I am moving into my own place right now. So I'm still fucking moving, believe it or not. But I'm really super pumped because everything's coming together. And thank you for being patient while I adjust and really make our home a home where everyone can feel invited and come have tea with Auntie Cherish, okay? So once again, welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, and all the beautiful messages that you guys tell me. It makes my heart so fucking happy you don't even know. Like you guys, honestly, I love you so much. So yes, my beautiful babies, let's get into how your person's feeling about you. So this is for pile number one, pile number uno, who chose Was pile number one how your person's feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this world okay um if you chose the picture of medea kuka medea gangster og grandma odia medea picture number one this is your reading for how your person's feeling about you all right let's get into it my beautiful as fine as fuck babies I'm so shy for you. Oh my god. How is he feeling? Aw, United in Spirit. United Airways, yo. <laughs> I'm intimidated, but I'm still going for it with you. All right, all right. Yo, I'm a thoughtaholic. I only like thoughts. Hmm. Well then. I'm gonna put this up if you guys don't mind. I'm gonna put up the um, camera so you guys can see everything way the fuck nicer because I'm having a hard time seeing everything and probably you will be too. So I'll hook you guys up with a better view, okay? So let's get more into it. Baby, 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 baby. Okay, so I'm a thoughtaholic. I only like thoughts. The fucker, re. All right, let's see what's up. Okay, y'all see this? Okay, right smack dab in the middle. We have emotional freedom, which I'm gonna have to read from the book because your girl isn't too familiar with that shit, emotional freedom. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna read that from the book just so you guys know. So you guys can give me a little bit of some leeway. All right. And we have one piece of advice card from your ancestors and angels who walk with you on a daily basis. That we'll put aside for after the reading, okay? Uh, we have rest. Rest. You've been working too hard. Take a nap and get some rest. My beautiful baby. My beautiful little baby watching this. Calling in your soulmate. Pay attention to the red flags. Ave Maria. Oh. All right, let's get into your tarot. So for your tarot, my baby, we have three of swords. My baby. And then we have the justice card and then we have what's this one the knight of pentacles with the strong ass bitch she's so strong you guys honestly i love this knight of pentacles it's my favorite knight of pentacles and then we have the eight of pentacles whoops and then we have manifest your dreams which is the magician card okay so right away what i'm getting from this is this person is definitely thinking about you all the time um thinking about you all the time super to the point where he's thinking about you where he's super intimidated by your guys's connection because it's hella hella strong you are a very very beautiful gorgeous person so to the point where your person gets really super chilled up when he thinks about your guys' connection, okay? So he's feeling you. 
like he's feeling you don't get it twisted he's feeling you okay so right now the karma scales all of the karmic scales are balancing themselves out and he's getting rid of a lot of shit that is no longer going to t he's going to take with him into his future he's let go of a lot of aspects addictions negative ways of life patterns that were really holding him back he's went through a lot of um spiritual awakening in the recent past okay his heart was just fucking ripped right open in shreds where he was like in the midst of the hurricane tornado like he was so hurt he was so fucking and you know when someone goes through heartbreak we all know whether it's death of your old life, death of your mom, death of your dad, death of your child, whether it's the ending the breakup of a relationship, we all know that that's something that you do, you go through individually. Nobody can hold your hand and take you through the pain. The only thing you can do is be sober as fuck and heal and feel and heal what's real. So your person went through this massive hard ass break when you all first met and he was praying for someone like you. He was praying even though he was massively just so heartbroken, desolate, wanted to die when you guys first met, um, he prayed for you. Like, he he prayed for you. He wanted you. You were everything he ever prayed for in his life. Um, when it all happened, when what it all came down to was he was still really ghosty in the beginning of your guys' union because he had his own shit to deal with. So it had nothing to do with you. As fucked up as that may sound, it had nothing to do with you. He honestly had to deal with his shit and unpack his emotional healing on his own, okay? So he just kind of took his space, took a step back so he can deal with his shit and get this, this uh, scales weighed out, balanced, so he doesn't have to carry that in to your guys' relationship. But this healing process, babe, it's going to kind of be like a... A slow process we have the knight of pentacles so just be patient because this guy is coming towards you he's just really scared right now because he's still healing a lot and he has all eyes on you though like his guns are blazing he's powerhousing for you he loves you he really wants to build on your guys's relationship but like i said he's healing right now from a really emotional heartbreak in the past so you just have to be patient with him because he really loves you okay and he's really intimidated for your connection but you're everything he's ever prayed for emotional freedom so you know how i said in the near past he just got his um whole entire heart just busted through and his heart broken and how he was just like so painfully in like pain where he just didn't want to like go on and he was like fuck my life kind of thing um his emotions are distorted y'all they are um so when it comes to this card you guys you know how i said he's coming towards you and everything we often encounter the notion that being single means you are free, while being in a relationship means you are not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Many single people feel trapped by loneliness and an inability to embrace certain aspects of life without a partner. Indeed, we often find that two people together may accomplish and enjoy much more of the world that it has to offer. So this guy actually has a fear that being in a loving relationship will compromise his personal autonomy and emotional freedom. So... He does desire love and commitment with you, but he's fucking scared, you guys. That's what this card means, emotional freedom. Now that he's getting, now that he's single and able to work on himself and able to be single and cut the ties from that karmic relationship he was in, like now that he fucking finally got through that heartbreak, the painful fucking heartbreak that he went through, he feels like if he were to ever be in a union with you he's kind of ptsd he's really fucking ptsd when he thinks about it because he doesn't want he kind of has this um big desire and love and commitment to be with you but on one hand he's also holding back because he's scared to be abused again because of that old relationship so he's really fucking scared man he's really scared to be controlled and abused again like he was in that karmic relationship so he's really scared right now. So like I said, you guys, he's going through so much healing right now. And this emotional freedom card is all about how he desires you so fucking much and he wants to come towards you. But this it, this connection, he still 
healing from this past relationship he was in and he's kind of holding back a little bit because he kind of is healing he's trying to get rid of those PTSD fears that he had from his old abusive relationship whether it was a respucia fucking bitch or you know he was Norbit in his last relationship who knows but he is intimidated but he's still gonna go for it but you just got to be patient with him because it's a slow burn sis it's a slow burn so yeah he is like treading lightly when it comes towards you he's ding, 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 ding. he's just trying to feel you out and see if you're a secret psycho like his ex because he's not we ain't about that in 2021 y'all we're all about just a fucking life partner life partner is also a twin flame just so y'all know don't get it twisted so yeah he's treading lightly because he wants to make sure you ain't respucia and if all goes well he really just still wants to keep building on this beautiful union with you with all your gorgeous treasures and all your beautiful so he really wants to really feel you out examine you research you study you to make sure that he's not putting his bit his big beautiful heart on the line for you and then you just smash his whole entire world again because he can't go through that again so he's treading lightly he's treading really lightly and he's fucking researching your life um like i said he's healing up he's doing a lot of resting crying um praying he's healing a lot you guys and when you heal you rest you gotta heal and feel to heal what's real sober you guys you do a lot of depression you guys depressed is deep rest hear me again depression is deep rest depressed is deep rest so your person's going through this transformation where he's healing and I fucking love your person because he's actually not trying to make you a band-aid. Not trying to make you go to 7-Eleven and get him slushies and poutines. He's actually going through his shit by himself like a true motherfucking warrior, okay? So I love your person. I just need to tell you that. Because he wants to rest up and be the man that you deserve. I'ma be the one to be with you. Because you deserve a 100% whole healthy person. So he's resting up and trying to heal his heart. So he doesn't carry all this PTSD fear into your guys' union. Because he loves you. Um, so yeah, so magician. Anything's possible in the future. He, anything's possible with you. It's all up in the air. And he's ready to manifest a great life with you. If you show out, play your cards right, and you are the one. How do you do that? It's all about non-attachment, self-loving self yourself to the point, sis, where you don't even need the motherfucker. Um, pedicure, wax your spoon. Um, look so fucking fine that, man, comes to the point where you don't need his ass to the point where he just throws himself at you and he's ready to come forward. So definitely anything in the future that he sees with you is mansion on the hill fucking you on the window sill everything you guys i ain't i'm messing around so anything it's pretty much up in the air when it, it just depends how you play your cards and give them the free time to heal right now okay give them space let them heal don't be fucking stalking his life because that turns the more you try attach yourself to somebody and the more that you try to control someone the more you really force them away because you're not surrendering to the divine's beautiful love story that they have for you okay because we all know con control and attachment is fear-based what's the opposite of fear-based my babies is love so you got to surrender and let this guy heal give him some space because right now when he thinks about the far future he's trying to act like protect his heart by saying oh i'm a i'm a thoughtaholic i only like thought pockets but honestly he fucking loves you he just tries to say that to really make himself feel better let's get some more about what the fuck he's feeling about you my baby baby yeah let this guy heal and you self-love yourself and you just work on you all right so this one came on um this one is you came on too strong yo i love the chase so yeah backpedal it a little bit baby backpedal it um like i said non-attachment and self-love you got to do a lot of non-attachment and self-love and fuck ground yourself like honestly get to the point where you don't even need this guy because he's gonna come running back anyways 
So just work on yourself and don't be super crazy obsessed. Um, you are royalty. You are my forever queen, my best friend in the whole entire world, my number one most valuable player for eternity. Wow, so this guy sees you as a ride or die. <laughs> This guy sees you as a ride or die, that bitch, me and my girlfriend Tupac. Low-key cannot stand your mom. She's a bitch. She's killing us. So I don't know if you have a really overbearing mom yourself, but like I said, when you're in a relationship with your life partner, fuck everybody else. So if you have outside influences chirping in your ear and shit, you gotta get them the fuck out because that's toxicity and nobody nobody is in your guys's union it's just you two fuck everybody else so if you have a toxic ass mom cut the bitch out because she's just gonna self-sabotage your guys's relationship i know this i fucking know this because i come from a toxic family and it's for the better of heightening your frequency okay Blood, you guys, man, at the end of the day, we're all sisters and brothers. We just choose our parents. Usually the karmic lesson in choosing a, a toxic mother is how to cut them out of your life. And then you break the karmic contract and you don't have to reincarnate with their toxic asses. All right, so let the guy rest up. Let him heal. He's going to come back to you guns a-blazing, okay? He needs to heal, though. All right, let's get advice for you, my baby. Pita. Pita! Let's see what the fuck that means. Do you guys see it? Okay, so Pita. Powerful, strong willed, and feisty. Fire and water are the two most powerful elements that can create and destroy anything. Together they create Pita, which is empowering you today. You are determined you are in a t determined place in your life. You know what you want, and a fire has been set under your seat to achieve it. You are setting goals for yourself and focused on the task at hand. Perhaps this is the time to emerge as a leader and teach others your strength and wisdom. You are transforming the world with your actions. Just don't lose connection with the water within you and remember to play. Damn. Pizza, fire and passion. You are fucking strong-willed and a powerhouse. Boss-ass bitch. So let's roll with this. Self-love yourself with this powery ass, fiery, strong leadership. Self-love yourself and do this non-attachment meditation every day. And make love to yourself every day and kind of just focus on you. Because you are a powerhouse. So never doubt that. Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. I'm Cherish Love, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Um, thank you for all the likes, subscriptions, and thank you for being patient with me. This is for pile number two. Pile number two, deuce. Um, so thank you guys. I'm still moving into my new place. I'm, I have a lot of relocating to do, so I'm focusing on that. So just be patient with me through this transition, okay? If you have any questions about anything spiritual, you can also go onto my other channel, Cherish Love Talks, and I talk about spiritual healing, uh, mental health, suicide, how to align with your life partner, aka Twin Flame, stuff like that. You can go onto my other channel, Cherish Love Talks. So this is for pile number two, how your person feels about you. Those who chose Medea picture number two. The deep feels that he doesn't tell a motherfucker walk in this planet, okay, babies? All right, my beautiful loves. Like I said, thanks for this patient through the moving. Um, I'm almost done moving. I'm hopefully done transitioning by the end of February, okay? So thank you for your patience and thanks for the loyalty. I love you, I fucking love you, and I thank you from the bottom, from the bottom of my big ass heart, okay? All right, let's get into it, my beautiful babies. Pile number two. How's your person feeling about you? Pile number two. My twos. All right, so this is an advice card from your ancestors and angels who walk with you on a daily basis. I'm going to put it to the end so we can read it from the end. And y'all know me. I don't cherry pick my shit. I don't know what the fuck. I just smudge and pray and ask Kitchy Muntu Creator to come through, Okay. So let's get into you. What is your person feeling about you? Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Ah, what the fuck is thinking about you? <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Um, I wish you weren't the way you are. You are mean. 
I wish you weren't the way you are. You are mean. All right, so that's your first card. Do, 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 do. I wish you weren't the way you are. You are mean. And then we have every man wanted you, but I got you. I want you. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. All right, let's see what the hell this one is. I took the L. I'm moving on. What the fuck are you talking about, homie? All right, let's get into it, baby, baby. Smack dab in the middle of your reading, we have compatibility. Compatibility, I love this card. This is like such a fucking good card. I'll get into it, but first I wanna pull all your cards here. Um, codependency. Give your relationship a chance. Oh, I love. And then we have explore your options. I have never seen this card in my whole entire motherfucking life. I have never seen this card in my life, you guys. It says, it's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make change. I'm going through changes. Wow, you guys. Holy fuck. I just got, when I read this and felt it, I just got bye, 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 bye. Blew up my mind, blew up my mind. Getting into your tarot here, we have three of fire. Ain't that some kinky ass shit. Three of wands traditionally. And then we have the knight of wands. The knight of wands, hop skippity damn. Then we have, ooh you guys, six of cups. Makes sense with that compatibility card here. And then we have, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you guys, this is my favorite fucking t minor arcana in the whole entire minor arcana is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And then we have um, High priest, uh, Priestess, Go Within. Wow, you guys, this is hella powerful. So you guys both have some traits of attachment that you guys are definitely mirroring to each other you guys linked up probably fucked asap which is all good i ain't judging and shit but you guys were passionate on fire hella bumpity bump 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 you know what i mean when you guys first linked up it was super hot super sexy super hot and we're gonna get married we're gonna have five kids but we'll have a son first so he'll protect our daughter kind of bullshit like you guys Move the guns a blazing, possibly even shacked up. Like you guys were just fast with it. You guys, it was instant fire, instant addiction to one another, instant physical, mental, spiritual addiction to one another. You guys just fucking hopped on that train and rode with it. Like you guys probably shacked up. You guys probably, you guys moved really fucking fast, okay? With that passion, with that fire, comes a tendency to really um, fall in love fast, fall out fast, right? Um, usually people like with, when they're moving guns a blazing fucking all passionate and all fired up and shit they get the fiery end also of like a person's temperament a person's shadow side a person's don't fuck with me side because I'm still healing and I have a lot of anger against my mother because she used to fucking beat the fuck out of me when I was young kind of shit so definitely a lot of um, fire sides this guy seen to your anger side okay you probably beat the shit out of him who knows but there is a lot of codependency issues that were mirroring with one another. You were all about that life. Let's get engaged. Let's have these kids. Let's shack up. And he also was all about that life. Okay. So it wasn't only you, it was him too. Right now in the present moment, your guys is, that's your guys' chapter when you guys like probably, well, when you guys first interacted, it was all so passionate, fiery, planning the kids, planning the move in which positions do I like you know what I mean in the present right now this person's all nostalgic about you just dreaming about you you name the fucking he named the dogs you name the kids names so he really still wants to shack up with you buy a house with you go 50 50 on a mortgage like this guy is not only passionate and turned on from you physically but he also likes you emotionally he really cares for you and he this is my two of cups cards you guys compatibility 
This card is my Two of Cups card. Like this is the, we get along so good. Like we're coffee and cream, we're Pepsi and chips, we're popcorn and slush. You know what I mean? We're Rachel, well, that fucking bitch that's on the notebook and the vow and freaking every single love story. What's her name? Rachel, I don't know, anyways. You guys are definitely like such like the best couple in the world. You guys go together like sugar and cream. You guys go together like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I really want to go, I really want to go ham with the synonyms here. Um, <laughs> because I love this card so much. It's so gorgeous. This guy sees you as his spouse, his wife, his two of cups, his 50-50. This guy really, this guy, man, he loves you. He loves you. In the present energy, he really loves you. And he feels like you're his trophy wife and he won and he wants to have babies with you. Like this guy's all in his feels with you. He's so sensitive. He's like Drake. He low key probably talks to his big sister or his mom about wanting to marry you and how you're so cute and you have a nice butt and you're also educated and you make your own bag. You know what I mean? He talks about his mom and his sisters with you anyways. And what he wants is he wants to go even though you guys might have had like a discrepancy in communication a discrepancy in communication is what I'm getting and are going through some changes. He really just at the end of the day wants to come back and love you. I just wanna love you like you never love nobody else. I'm getting the song um, Touch Me by Chris Brown. Cause there's a lot of touch, like holy fuck. This reading has so much touch, it's not even funny. And lots of emotions and fire. So this is a really cool, ass relationship you guys um so yeah so if the channel the song that i'm channeling is touch me by chris brown so if you want to listen to that after this reading it's called touch me by chris brown because that is what i'm getting and you guys are going through some shit but at the end of the day this guy's so attracted to you and he just loves you and he wants to give your guys' relationship a chance and he wants to have that mansion on the hill with you and he wants to sign those papers with you he wants to go have 50 50 on the mortgage 50 50 with the dna in the child that you guys are going to create, maybe one or two. Maybe you guys will have an NBA team. Who the fuck knows? But he wants to like mix his juices with your juices and create a masterpiece child, okay? That's what he wants to do. And he wants to cook with you every night. He wants to watch Matlock and Murder, She Wrote. He wants to fucking do puzzles with you on those winter days. He loves you. He wants your everything he's ever prayed for and wanted. <laughs> at the same time he's like i took the l i'm moving on so you guys with this whole discrepancy in communication he's kind of like on the on the heezy at the same time he wants to just fuck off and go right off into the sunset and bounce on your ass because you guys are firecrackers my watcher you're a firecracker when you pop off you pop off i don't know if you slash this guy's tires i don't know if you ghosted him on every single fucking platform of social media that y'all have but you did something where he just totally you triggered some kind of rejection abandonment issues in his ass so now he's like is she even worth it like he's going back and forth with himself he loves you so much to the sky and back he wants to go, he wants to leave, he wants to go, he wants to leave. Like, he's, he's so burned up and fired up with you. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going. Because he's so fucking in love with you, but he's so mad at you. That's what I mean. It's crazy. Passion. Fire. Love. It's like, you guys are just both firecrackers. You guys are both fucking crazy. Both you and him. You guys are both fiery as hell. You know, so sometimes it can be a super awesome like strength, you know, with all the love making and shit. Sometimes it's a shadow side, like right now with your guys is fighting and shit and you can't m make a consensus and meet, make up, like just fucking all go toe to toe, let it out and fix shit, you know. So yeah, he's always on the on the kilter here. Should I stay with her? Should I go? I want to really fucking knock her up and stuff. But so yeah, so right now he's just like teetering on staying, going, but he really wants to stay. And he's just doing a lot of going within, tapping into his little psychic spiritual self, praying a lot, asking God to send him some signs. He probably looks up to the sky and listens to some R&B music and acts like a fucking sad R&B video 
when he looks out of his vehicle because <laughs> he kind of has that Drake vibe to me you know what I mean like that compassionate emotional motherfucker so I kind of feel like he just kind of tries to drive you know outside of the city outside of town and listen to some really sad music and he cries and he thinks about you and then the rain starts to pour and then he just acts like a sad music video when he thinks about you but he's going with it and he's wondering what the fuck to do when it comes to you because he loves you you're a crazy ass bitch and he loves that about you so he's like i took the l i'm moving on let's see what what else he's thinking about you for the future for the future my baby baby for the future my baby baby all right start off with this for the future and i wish you joy happiness i will always love you what's this one i'm jealous of every man i see you talk speaking to i'm jealous of every man i see you speaking to i will always love you i am jealous of every man i see you speaking to am i moving too fast i apologize i just love you so much so this actually is really good to go with this ten of pentacles because this is my this is my marriage card this is my marriage card my live together card my life partners card die together card there's no such thing as death just the transfer transfer worlds this is like walk through this world with me walk through this world with me go where i go you know that song that all the old people listen to when they're fucked up off that brown liquor that is what this guy wants with you okay the ten of pentacles my favorite love card in the whole entire fucking this is a legacy this is building a legacy with you okay so yeah this guy fucking just loves you so much and he's gonna he wants you he loves you he wants a future with you he wants to get married with you he wants to fuck you up and break some mattresses in your guys' new house because he that's how passionate you guys are together. I bet you guys get called on from your neighbors, you sick fucks. Okay, so this guy loves you, he loves you, and I love this reading. This is some dope ass reading. But like I said, he's back and forth because he's just like in his feelers, Drake, you know? This is such a cute little card. She looks like a little Hawaiian. Little Moana with her little turtle. Oh, it's so fucking cute. It's so fucking cute. This is the first time I've ever seen this card, you guys. That makes me so happy. All right, so advice from Spirit regarding you, my baby. This is, what is this? Ooh, Lakshmi, damn. Lakshmi, the goddess of Hinduism. She's the god of beauty and abundance. So right now she's blessing you with so much beauty and abundance because I'm going to grab my book to remember what I can remember about her, but she's my favorite goddess. I pray to her lots. I love her so much. She's blessing you right now with a bunch of beauty and abundance because you're a boss ass bitch. And when this card appears all the time, you guys, it's telling you that right now you're being blessed so much and she favors you because you have a big heart. Whoever's watching this, you are so fiery, so beautiful, so loving, and you're always giving people so fast. You're hugging people, you're kissing people. You are that person who has the biggest heart. You're like the Mother Teresa of the company you work in. And that's, that's what's up. And never change who you are, okay? Be that beautiful, abundant, generous, loving person you are. Because Lakshmi loves that shit. And right now she's blessing you with so much beauty and abundance because you deserve it and you're the best in the motherfucking world. So she recognizes it and that's what's up. So you go give a spirit plate to Lakshmi out there in the bushes and you offer her a beautiful spirit plate of food and you say, thank you, Lakshmi, for all this beauty and abundance you're blessing me with. She pays back those chosen ones on this planet who deserve to be blessed with her graces this lakshmi doesn't just come to any old tom dick and harry she only goes to those 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 fucking divine ass boss ass empresses that deserve it she's a picky bitch okay so she chose you my watcher lakshmi chose you because you are so full of that mother Teresa vibe princess diana vibe that she's blessing you with more love and abundance and beauty because you deserve it because you're so generous and loving and you're doing the work that needs to be done on this world. We need more divine feminines healing this toxic masculine fucking world. And that's what you're doing. And so she comes into anyone's life who she feels deserves it. And you're such a beautiful boss ass bitch, nice booty, big pop in that you fucking deserve so much beauty and abundance. And she's blessing you with it, baby. She is. I will actually read this to you from the book too real quick, okay? Yeah, okay, so my beautiful ass boss ass bitch, goddess of abundance, fortune and beauty. Many call upon Lakshmi, but she only comes to a few have, who have earned it. Today, that is you. She is the goddess of abundance, physical beauty, and good fortune, and fertility. Ooh, baby, baby. All about that beauty and that big. Damn. She is the sweetness of the fruit, the petals of the flower, 
the glistening of the ocean. She is the extra spark that makes certain things beautiful. She comes to you today with blessings of prosperity for the fruits of your labor. She has recognized your generosity and rewards you in her ways, whether it's financial abundance, radiant health, motherfucking Jennifer Lopez glow, Beyonce ass, a loving, beautiful partnership, a comfortable home, good fortune, or impregnating you because you want to be. So yeah, she comes to you for all these things. And so she's blessing you. Continue to give freely and lovingly. And so will she. <gasps> I love this card so much. I love this, you guys. Aww. Whoever you are, you are a fucking babe to be reckoned with. Like, oh my God, I just want to yell and sing. Fuck, I can't wait to have my own house so I can yell and fucking black out when I get super beautiful card like this. I'm so excited. It's just, it's hard to suppress my happiness. This is so gorgeous. This was a beautiful reading. You are a boss ass bitch. You're gorgeous. And I'm slapping you in the ass right now because you're such a fine ass bitch, okay? Hi, my beautiful loves. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Thank you for joining me on this super gorgeous day. And this is for my folks who chose pile number three, okay? So this is pile number three. If you chose the beautiful Medea, smiling in all her beautiful love and glory, then this is your pile, okay, my beautiful babies? Um, all right, so let's get into it. The reason why I chose Medea is because she reminds me of my mom. Like my mom was hella, hella ghetto and ratchet like that. So actually the Tyler Perry movies helped me heal in love, relationships, grief and loss. And I know people are like, oh, well, Tyler Perry, so toxic, feminine, blah, blah, blah. Take the fucking positives from Tyler Perry's movies, you guys. Like you don't have to watch them. Like take the positive from every negative situation in your life. Take the positive. I just love Medea because she's hella funny, hella ratchet. Ghetto carries a gun. And that's how my mom was, okay? My mom did serve time in prison also. I just love my mom so much. She reminds me of Medea. So that's why I chose pick a pile for the three, how your person's feeling about you, okay? So if you guys have any questions about uh, romance, soulmates, uh, the great awakening, 2021, what's going on, you can go to my other channel, which will be linked down below, Cherish Love Talks. And what else? The, I am still moving. Like, honestly, I'm getting my tables and chairs. I'm just adjusting. So that's why... I just want to say thank you for your patience while I make through this whole entire move to this big, beautiful West Coast. Just thank you for the patience. I promise I'll come out with more picket cards uh, soon, like as soon as I can. <laughs> but thank you for your patience and always staying with me. I love you guys so much. And thank you for, yeah, thank you for being patient through this move. So let's get into it. Thank you, you guys, for picking pile number three. This is how your person feels about you deep down in their heart space. And for folks who never watched me before, I give it to you straight, no chase, okay? So, yep, that's how I roll. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, so here's your advice card from your ancestors and angels who walk with you on a daily basis and want to give you the tea on what's going on in this world. So I'm just going to actually leave this for the end of the reading, okay? And let's get into it. How is your person feeling about you? My pile number three, beautiful love. All right, let's get into it. I wish I never loved you. I wish I never loved you, first card. I wish I never loved you. Battle between heart and mind. Let me take you on a date fit for royal tings. 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 Damn. Yeah, this guy's going through some fucking, the, does she love me? Does she love me not? Bullshit. Ah, uh, damn, you guys. Check that out. Fucking beautiful. Yin and yang. One of my favorite cards in all of the lover's oracles that in that, um, oracle thing it's like my favorite one of my favorite cards that's gorgeous it popped up for you guys um love makes the difference love makes the difference love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth 31 which equals four which equals 
marriage, love, happiness. If you see these people in the corner there, you guys, they're on a boat and they're looking into the sunset. This is fucking beautiful. Wow. Love makes a difference. Love helps. Wow, you guys. <sighs> Some powerful, powerful energy coming through, I must say. Give love. Holy shoot. How much love cards could we get? Wow. Look at these partners. They're like, give love. Wow, you guys. Wow, this is one of my favorite cards too in this deck. Wow, you guys, holy smokes. Whoa, so powerful and gorgeous of a reading we get into. Wow, okay, shut up, Jerish, and just finish here. Stay optimistic about your love life. We have over here, passion, okay. Wow, it's gorgeous, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stay good, my sister from another mister. All right, let's get into your tarot now, my beautiful babies. Let's get into your tarot. So getting into your tarot, I just want to make sure this is kind of pretty for you guys so you guys can see the beautiful, beautifulness of how gorgeous this, <laughs> this reading is so far. Oh, we have one more here. Ooh, a little bonus for you guys. The thinking man, of course, fuck, of course. Okay, I'm just gonna really give you the hazy on what I'm getting right now. What I'm really channeling is definitely your person's um, between battle between heart and mind. You see in this guy's hand, it's a crystal, a bunch of crystal quartzes, which is all about clarity, which is all about your seven chakra it's all about the the metaphysical principles the kundalini connection to the divine heaven godhead so this guy's really going between his mass between his heart and his mind back and forth back and forth about you he thinks about you all the fucking time he's wondering how he can come into union with you so this guy's thinking about your guys's future together a lot okay so your guy is really motherfucking an introvert who definitely goes within and all he does is thinks about you you guys he's going crazy casey and jojo is the song i'm channeling so if you really want to really know how he feels after this reading really definitely spotify apple music youtube music casey and jojo um, uh, i'm crazy <laughs> i'm just stuttering it out crazy by casey and jojo okay because this guy is like when he thinks about you in the past it was all about it was like right off the hook. It was like he felt brokenhearted upon your guys' connection when you guys first met. So, but at the end of the day, he was between his heart and mind, always trying to stay optimistic, always trying to stay positive, always trying to be like the cup mostly full when it comes to you. You know what I mean? So he was trying his hardest to be positive about your guys' connection when you guys first met. And yeah, the motherfucking guy just thinks about you all the time. I find in eyes that you are my true love. Yeah, Casey and Jojo, all my life. Check it out, okay? All right, let's get into your tarot, babe. Starting off, we have the Ace of Swords, which I'm not motherfucking surprised because this guy, I don't like naming signs, but I'm already getting some signs for this guy. Holy shit. What? Okay, cool. I was like, what the hell? And then we have out with the old, in with the new. So your guy is definitely having some revelations because you rocked his world. I'm going to rock your world. And you rocked his world. Oh my God, you guys. Right now in the present moment, we have the lovers smack dab right in the front and center and middle of your guys' beautiful, gorgeous love reading. That is already motherfucking hardcore, hardcore. This, like the, I'm getting my jollies off, not jollies, but I'm getting like high and happy off your guys' reading because of the energy I'm pulling, which is hella light, hella bubbly, and optimistic. Like, this is, you guys, I can't make this up. Look, this is two people in this card. Just loving, laughing, fire, going out for a fire, partying. This guy sees you as his best friend. He sees you as his best friend his life partner, his ride or die Bonnie and Clyde, like Jocelyn and Stevie when they rolled up on Benzino kind of love, you know what I mean? 
but like he sees you as somebody who's like his equal his 50 50 thus the yin and the yang you guys the yin and the yang is the 50 50 life partner twin flame johnny cash june carter love like this is fucking beautiful this is like so gorgeous and beautiful you guys i want to marry i want to marry I want to get married like right now because this is such a beautiful ask. This is such a gorgeous reading. You guys are life partner potential. You guys are like walk through this world with me. George Jones. Walk through this world with me. Go where I go. You guys are going to get married possibly. It's your choice, right? Because right smack dab in the middle right now he's in the contemplation period where he's like her love this beautiful beautiful woman can change my life forever and ever amen and we can possibly like spend the rest of our lives together and walk into the spirit realm holding hands together also so this guy's thinking hella deep you guys this guy knows that this is a major life decision coming towards you because he loves you so hard look at all the beautiful colors of this beautiful rainbow Wow, this is a gorgeous, beautiful reading. Whoever chose this, thank you. Thank you for, you know, joining me on this beautiful, gorgeous day in the neighborhood because you made my life beautiful. This is the best reading I've done in a long time, personal and YouTube. -y. So yeah, this guy thinks about you all the time, how to come towards you because you rocked his world. You came in like a motherfucking hurricane. Possibly he was just coming out of a relationship and he wasn't expecting you. It was fucking shocking, but in a beautiful, great way. Swept him off his feet. Definitely swept this guy off his feet. Because you're that bitch, okay? Continuing with your tarot. What's this one here? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Hey, hey. Pretty aggressive. He wants to beast F you. Um, yeah, so what I'm getting from that picture is a lot of just wanting to just come be with you because we have also this passion card so this guy really is a masculine very solid guy probably has big biceps and muscles he really wants to like be that man for you he wants to take on the masculine of your divine feminine ass because you guys are divine counterparts you guys are divine counterparts so i'm getting that your man is super masculine super balanced super healthy he's already paid all he already did all his karmic debts when it comes to relationships so it's like heaven is really providing you guys to be together after kissing so much frogs. Both of you. Not a pinnacles. Don't we love to see this fucking guy, hey? So yeah, it's, this guy's taking his sweet ass time to come towards you, but he's gonna come towards you. And probably with a ring because the nine of pinnacles always rep represents slow and steady wins the race and he's holding some bling 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 baby bling 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 that big mariah carey pink fucking rock so yeah this guy's gonna come towards you slow and steady wins the race let me take you on a date fit for a motherfucking royal key queen and he's gonna play it cool right he's gonna act like so how's life you know he's gonna small talk play it cool like he hasn't been fucking thinking about your ass naked you know what i mean not only is he physically attracted to you and wants can't take his you know sexual mind off your prowess of off jumping your bones but he also like wants to marry you and have kids with you he wants to make love to you every single day to casey and jojo all my life and he wants to just be best friends he wants to go on camping trips he wants to throw the kids into the rv maybe you guys don't believe in rvs but believe in tents and he wants to just go on camping trips with you he wants to go to the gym with you he wants to own a company with you he wants to like go canoeing with you he wants to listen to music and make music with you he wants to join dnas so you guys can have babies together he's gonna enjoy that he wants to get married he knows that you're his divine counterpart and he loves you so he got this guy worked on himself really good so i'm really proud of this guy um in the beginning he was like killing himself like he was just like thinking too pessimistic like oh my gosh i love her so fucking much how could this be she can destroy me so he had huge walls up when y'all first met kind of so he was trying to play like he was trying not to love you he was trying his hardest not to love you but the hardest he resist the harder he resisted your beautiful gorgeous ass the harder he just broke his own heart so in the beginning he was trying to resist this love he was really trying to resist your finance but then he just came to his senses and realized okay why do i think like this like he got a bunch of mental clarity mental clarity that you're the one and he wants to spend his, the rest of his life with you and it was like a lightning bolt hit him 
a crystal quartz lightning bolt specifically. Um, so in the past, in the near past, he did a lot of working out his shadow, his fears and got rid of them. Just recently, actually, I'm picking up on, not in the very, very past, but just recently I'm picking up on. And he got rid of a lot of old negative habits, a lot of old fears that were holding him back from your beautiful love. And it hit him like tower moment and it was painful. So he went through a spiritual awakening just like really fucking like last week, even when it comes to you, like recently he's been really fucking in his bed, probably crying. It's been emotionally really painful for him. And when we go through spiritual awakenings, you guys, and painful tower moments, it's really painful where you stay in bed for two days. So I'm even thinking this guy took a day out, a mental health day, just to think and clear his head and let the energy, let those energies of the, the realization and the pain and the fears wash through him. All the negative energies washed through him and had to wash out because that was really fucking brutal. He was trying to hold himself back from this beautiful love, from old fear-based um, paradigms that he was holding, but he let them go. Thank God to the angels. The angels really helped him make it through that process in the near past, you guys. So that's fucking gorgeous. So right now he knows that you're a love of a lifetime. There's nobody like you. You are just one in eight billion. You're the most fucking beautiful walking goddess that he's ever met. So right now he's very in his feels of how to approach you. But he's going to come in cool. He's going to be coming all cool and collected. He's not going to be like really batshit crazy, like psycho. He's not going to be like, oh, like I had a divine spiritual. No, he's not going to be all thirsty like that. He's going to come in like all cool and collected and shit, even though he won't be able to keep his hands off your fine ass. Like this guy really wants to jump your bones, make love to you ASAP, but he's going to play it cool because he's coming in with this energy, cool, calm and collected. Smooth operator. Okay. All right. All right, baby. That's gorgeous. This is fucking beautiful. Also, you guys have the potential to get married and spend the rest of your life together. Twin flame and life partner are essentially the same thing. You know, those couples that stay together for 70 years and they die like two days apart from each other. That's a twin flame relationship, AKA life partner relationship. We have numerous twin flames. If the energy, it's really, okay, I'm gonna do an, a, a video on my other YouTube, Cherish Love talks about this stuff because I've just been going through the spiritual awakenings where I'm getting all these downloads and stuff and I got some new new, um, some new perspective on the twin flame relationship and also soulmates, so it's beautiful. This is the love of a lifetime, you guys. You guys are going to dominate the fucking world and be the king and queen of the whole entire world, seriously. You beautiful ass bitch. All right, let's get into advice from your angels regarding this such a gorgeous, beautiful, such a gorgeous, beautiful reading. So beautiful. Okay, let's get into it. The advice from your spirit. Creator says, Kichimontu says, you are on your true north, baby. Everything is all smooth sailing. <laughs> okay, so creator co-signs this relationship. Creator co-signs this beautiful uh, life partner marriage that you guys have here, this beautiful union of your divine, you guys are divine counterparts and creators just giving you the message of fuck yes, this is the love of a lifetime and it's all smooth sailing. Creators blessing you with this love, you guys. And it's really awesome that that card popped up because look at the first card that actually we flipped was this sailing into the sunset and that popped out right in the beginning of the reading for me so isn't that beautiful how the way creator works how this was the hugest thing that popped out for us my reader the, and we went into extensive talk about it the smooth sailing into the sunset and how like i don't cherry pick my cards i don't know what comes up right i just smudge and ask god to come through and then how the last card that we get is like the cherry on top smooth sailing I can't make this up. This is fucking beautiful. Wow. Wow, you guys. I'm so in love with you, whoever's watching this. This is the beautiful love of a lifetime. And I love you and congratulations. Hi. Hi, my beautiful babies. Welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Thank you so much for being patient with me through this crazy ass transition I'm going through right now. I'm honestly almost done moving. So thank you for your patience and thank you to all the like <laughs> beautiful comments and all of the like 
commitment of just being patient with me while I make this huge change. And I love you guys so much through this whole transition. And I promise I'm gonna come back stronger than ever, delivering fucking pick a cards once a week to your beautiful asses. So once again, thank you for your patience. If you wanna see me, what's been up, 2021 predictions, what I've seen from God source. Um, if you guys want any kind of tips, advice on spirit, the spiritual awakening, uh, road journey, mental health, even fucking story time videos I have on my own dating experiences, anything like that, go to my other channel, Cherish Love, that it's gonna be listed down below, okay? Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with me? I take this gum out of my mouth. <sighs> All right, let's get into it. Pile number four. This is your pile. How your person's thinking about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a living soul walking this earth, okay? So pile number four, how your person's feeling about you, okay? Deep down, they, they don't tell a motherfucker walking this planet. So let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Um, this is the advice card from your ancestors and angels that I'm going to put to the end, okay? And you guys know me. I don't cherry pick my shit. I just smudge and I pray and ask Godhead to come through. Kichimantu Creator to come through with messages for you, okay? So let's get into it. How your person's really motherfucking feeling about you. Be my gym partner for life. You're so fucking beautiful. <laughs> Damn, that's like some flex. That's like some motherfucking flexing for the gram, you guys. When someone wants you to be their trophy wife, that trophy wife on their arm, that's that's some that's a fucking huge flex. That's a flex for life. He this guy thinks you're a smoke show. You're my end goal. Holy shit. Yeah, bro. Like whoever's watching this, this guy, honestly, you're a fucking trophy wife. You're a 10. You're the guy that all the guys want and all the girls want to be. Like, that's you, whoever chose this fucking pile. Pile number four, damn, sis. You're my absolute, my all, my reason, my everything. Wow, you guys. This is some hardcore energy, man. This is like some thirst trap energy. This is like some break the fucking condom and like make her mine forever kind of energy like this guy's so enchanted with your fucking boss ass beautiful ass like this guy's enamored in love with you this guy's straight up in love with you got me twisted over you dating date 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 this guy wants to wind down in 69 this guy wants to buy you flowers and take you out on a date <laughs> real fucking country song all right where are we at here listening to wisdom so yeah he's really just cherish just lay the cards first ask for help you know you got what you need right here, baby. Oh, I'll read the bottom of it. Uh, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support for fuck's sakes. <laughs> so that's all about divine timing. Um, fourth, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So that's the heart chakra. Heart awakening. My heart goes mm -mm -mm when it's you I see. Yeah, this guy is honestly fucking in love with you. His heart goes up and down when it's he thinks about you. Wow, this guy's so in love with you. Not only is he passionately really fucking turned on from your 3D vessel, but not only does he want to eat you like an ice cream cupcake on a hot Sunday, January, July weekend, but this guy also is in love with you. Also, FYI, just so you know. Just so you motherfucking know. Okay, let's get into your... Ooh, we still have more cards here. Holy. Give your relationship a chance. Look at those biceps. Your guy works out. Your guy definitely fucking eats his proteins. And he definitely wants to beast F you. Which is beautiful. Personally, that's what I like. Um, codependency. Ooh, look at this bitch. She's sitting on her throne. Okay, let's get into your tarot before I start getting into your... Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Da, 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 da. Where should I put you? There's trap. There's trap, city trap. I don't know. Fuck, I'll put you on top of these guys, I guess. 
And then we have one of cups, ace of cups. Ooh, oh my gosh, she's showing some nip. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, a little bit of some nip action there. Then we have king of wands. This guy's, yeah, okay, baby, just pour down the, pour down the tarot here. Six of wands. Okay, okay, sis. Okay, damn. And then the three of pentacles. Okay, so, wow, look at, I said beast fuck. Look, this guy's just picking her up. This is a solid ass guy. Look at his ass. Fuck. I'm all about, yo, I'm all about the glute, the glutus maximus. I'm a, I'm a booty girl. So personally, I like when my men have big asses because that means they know how to throw down and get in bed. That knows, like, <laughs> we're all about the hip thrusts and the deadlifts around here because, man, when you have a guy with some big ass glutes, he, guaranteed he knows how to throw it down in bed. Garen motherfucking teed. Oh, look, this guy's a beast. You're dealing with a big ass muscular motherfucker who's super attracted to you and wants to really fucking throw it down he wants to really he can't wait to get you alone in his bedroom that's all i'm gonna say about that and he can't he's definitely gonna dominate your ass and you're probably gonna wake up from the weekend with bruises which is always good weekend accomplished because he's all passionate fired up making plans in the present energy to come towards you you're his whole entire world so he sits and talks with himself and plans out this beautiful life that you guys are going to have how your guys's middle names of your children are all going to be the same how your guys's last name is probably going to not change but how you guys are going to make the names of your guys's kids mean something in a beautiful way together meshing the names of your guys's kids how your guys's like property is going to correspond with the love that you guys have for one another like your person's really into symbolism and planning and he just is ready to plan he's already planning your guys's life together just so you know because look at we have this right smack dab like you're my end goal like you're this guy's fucking infinity stones end game like you're no matter what like, I don't think marriage is a big deal to you, but this guy's just fucking, you're his life partner already in his head. He already married you, so he loves you. He's so in love with you. He's in love with you because you're his trophy wife. Remember I was saying about the trophy wife and then look what popped up. It's my trophy wife card. You are the motherfucking trophy wife. Like this guy's ready to tattoo your ass on his fucking like ribs. He's ready to tattoo your beautiful fine ass right above his like crotch area. Just so bitches recognize like yo this is mine this is mine he's so addicted to you we have um this card which is all about being addicted to your finance um he definitely sees you as this empress you see how this bitch is in her power just sitting there like everyone's a peasant you know what i mean except her that's how he sees you that you're one above the rest that you're not in like a really fucking belittling way but just you know your power your strength you know your hot shit you have this beautiful humble confidence i like to call it a humble confidence you have it you're everything about a humble confidence you're that bitch you're that trophy wife you're fucking 10 in all areas you guys so he just wants to work with you in the far future build this beautiful life with you build this company together build this legacy together that your children will have and their children will have and their children will have this person's ready just to make the most beautiful fucking life that'll last till time memorial even if we have to fucking leave the planet with elon musk's um beautiful ass spaceships and we have to go start a uh, go join the colonies in jupiter Sirius, Andromeda, whatever fuck, this guy's ready just to start this whole life with you and start these legacies with you and stuff. He just wants to love you forever. He already planned you guys' wedding. And I kind of get the feeling this guy's really hot, good looking, you know? So he's like talking to his bros. You know, you know how he's making these plans and stuff and he's talking to his cat. You know what I mean? Maybe he's a cat guy, who knows? But this guy is making plans how to like come towards you in a smooth way so he's not coming on too strong. Because as, as much as this guy really wants to fucking just like jump, jump your bones, he's really like contemplating the best approach to come towards you because he's already in love with you. Um, so he's asking his buddies, talking, saying, yo, what's the best approach to get so-and-so's attention? But he's going to come smooth. And he's going to say, baby, let's go out. Let's go out to Cactus Club. Let's go out for a walk by the river. 
let's go to the movies, but I'm not taking that motherfucking vaccine. Like, he's gonna keep it real and ask you on a beautiful date because he believes in chivalry, because he's a gentleman. And he's gonna keep his naughty thoughts to himself till you guys get to that stage, till you're ready, because he's a gentleman and he believes in chivalry. And he knows that you're a boss ass bitch and the queen that you are, so he knows that you deserve some dates and some whining, dining properly, okay? He wants to sweep you off your feet the way you already swept him off his feet because you're a fucking dream come true it's like god parted the red seas and all of a sudden you just walked through and you were like let my people go you know what i mean so this guy in the past you know he kind of like was kind of thinking about you too much he was going through some shit when you guys first met he was going through a painful ending possibly ending a past relationship but it was it was just a karmic relationship and we all know that frogs that we kiss in the past were just practice they were just fucking practice, you know? So he got rid of a really, you know, karmic relationship that was no longer serving his highest good. Peaced out on that and was really hard for him because he's just a nice guy. And he's like, so he just like, when you guys first met, he was coming out of a karmic relationship. But that's over and done with now. Because his heart, you own his heart. His heart belongs to you. You bought it. You didn't buy it, what the fuck? You honestly won his heart straight off the hop. Like this guy, you woke him up. He was dead inside. He was a slumber, living a mediocre life with that karmic relationship he was in. And then you walked in and you just swept him off his feet and you fucking woke his heart up to a higher love, a higher frequency that he's never felt before. Like this past karmic relationship wasn't as high frequency as this relationship that you ushered in and you woke him up. And so he sat and he listened and he was like, yo, ancestors were like, Hamaga, take this, you fucking guy. Take this. They kind of were like ushering him to like hurry the fuck up and just like see what the hell this beautiful ass, beautiful woman, aka you. You're really super fine, right? Like you are a showstopper, you're gorgeous. So universe was really trying to like open him up to how fucking awesome of a chick you are. And he did, he listened. He's a very intuitive guy, your person, because we have a lot of purples in here. So very intuitive, got a lot of downloads. He works out all the time, so he obviously has a clean vessel. In order to get the best downloads, you guys, and the best messages, you have to have a really super clean vessel. That's why eating organic foods, drinking a lot of water, living, you know, getting your exercise in, taking your vitamins, um, all that shit really helps you to get the download so your person has a clean enough vessel where he took the motherfucking message from the divine and they gave him the what's up to the what's up to go towards you with all this fire and passion when all he wants to do is just like rip your clothes off and knock you up and start this life with you shack up and hold hands every single day and roast people out in public because we all know we need some healthy roasting you know what i mean um so yeah this guy this guy man he maybe you guys met in the gym you know what I mean? Maybe you guys met it on the on the gram. You guys both left. Who the fuck knows? Either way, he wants to always go to the gym with you all the time. Get those Gymshark outfits. Work out together. Join a baseball team together. Make a baseball team together. Coach your guys' future so kids soccer team. Stuff like that. He wants to go the extra fucking mile with you and end this life with you. Well, not end this life with you. There's no such thing as ending this life with you. This guy just sees the whole entire package with you. He sees you as the whole entire package and he would be fucking stupid to not take up on this great opportunity that God has just put in front of him, a.k.a. you. AKA you, because you're the empress. You're a boss ass bitch. Everyone else is like a five compared to you. And you are that trophy wife. You are the most beautiful woman in the world in this guy's eyes. You're a fucking sparkly ass, magical ass, like heaven sent, beautiful ass woman that was especially, especially like he doesn't even know how you gave him the time of day. This guy is so in love with you, you guys so fucking in love with you so he's just really hoping in the past you know what i mean he was kind of like oh my gosh she's so angelic she's so out of this world gorgeous i don't even know if she would give me a chance even though you guys the hottest men in the whole entire world are really insecure like i'm not even lying <laughs> i know this for a fact they're very no matter who no matter how good looking or fucking hot you are you are doesn't matter, you still carry insecurities. So your person didn't know if you would even give him a chance in the beginning. 
because it was like right off the hop you just changed this whole world you changed this whole entire fucking life whether you know it or not you changed this guy's life and he knows it and his higher self knows it okay so yes you are the fucking bomb.com you are the fucking amazon elon oh yeah starting today elon musk actually makes more money now than jeff bezos which makes sense because jeff bezos is all about like his individual awesomeness whereas elon musk is all about the whole entire world he wants to save and elon musk is against the vaccine too like he's like fuck that you guys ain't vaccinating my kids and my family with that fucking evil ass energy in that fake fucking vaccine so yeah y'all don't take the vaccine but anyways getting off topic you are my absolute my all my reason my everything this guy is ready to like just ship off like i said just ready to ship off to jupiter and make this whole new tribe with you because he wants to pass on your fine ass genetics he wants to pass on mix his genetics with your beautiful fine ass genetics because like if i can frame this for you and mail it to whoever's watching this i would because this is what that guy this picture sums it up of what this guy sees and he just sees you as everything and and everything he worships the fucking ground you walk on and he's gonna give you a sweater like guaranteed he's gonna give you his sweater so you can always smell him all right, so let's get piece of advice from your beautiful ancestors who are walking with you and protecting with you from the beautiful, beautiful spirit realm. Okay, this is their message to you. Do do do. Creator says you always move too fast. Have boundaries. So sometimes if you're like impatient that he's not moving fast enough, because you know he just wants to date and take his sweet ass time, and you know he's talking to his buddies like with this ask for help and making a plan with that cat his pets he probably talks to himself all the time um he's taking his sweet ass time to come towards you don't be impatient my watcher you might be a aries and venus which is the most thirst trappist fucking birth chart in the dating scene but just be patient and don't fucking move too fast because if you move too fast it's gonna kind of trust the divine timing trust the divine timing of things and surrender okay non-attachment just do you your self-love go to the gym get your petties wax your spoon wax your ass prepare because it's going to be sexual off the heezy okay so fucking hold your horses don't be because when you have that aggressive ass trying to force the situation you're just pushing them farther away so do a lot of non-attachment and say thank you god for letting me surrender and thank you god for letting me trust in the divine timing Thank you for this beautiful love that already loves me. And thank you for me surrendering. And thank you for the beautiful divine timing. Okay, my watcher? So just chill the fuck out and be patient, okay, my baby? Because you're fucking goddess, all right? You're fucking gorgeous. I would marry your ass if I could, okay? Okay.